Hey everyone, Fear Crawler here. Welcome to the video. Boy, today must be my lucky day because I just won a free cruise. Though I'm not sure why they asked for my credit card information. Anyway, today's video deals with... Who are you? I'm a cop. Where's Mini Crawler? Am, uh, am I in some kind of trouble or... Uh... No. Enjoy the video. Everything happened so fast. Um, a lot of the details are fuzzy. One minute I was laying down in my cabin on the cruise ship, just trying to stave off the impending seasickness from all that rocking. The next thing I knew, there was a bright flash and a loud bang. I thought maybe we had taken a lightning strike somewhere. I felt the whole ship tilt at a very sharp angle. It threw me from my bed, in fact. I must have banged my head pretty hard when I landed. Everything went black for a little while. If it hadn't been for the sudden gush of seawater filling my lungs, I might have never gotten back onto my feet. By the time I got topside, the damage to the ship became clear. We were sinking fast. They were desperately trying to deploy the lifeboats in as orderly a fashion as one could expect from such a desperate situation. I headed for the one closest to me. There were only a few of us inside it by the time it touched the rocky waters below. We paddled out as far away from the sinking vessel as we could, just barely escaping the undertow. Those horrible screams from the seawater-filled lungs as the other life bolts were pulled under was the most awful sound I've ever heard in my life. Watching those lifeless bodies bob up and down in the water in perfect rhythm with the swell was heartbreaking. We were the only ones left. I glanced over at my new companions, their clothes and skin soaked in sea brine. It was like being left alone with lost souls. They looked so dead inside. The thunderstorm raged on through the night. I didn't sleep. I stayed awake the whole night bailing rainwater from the raft and continuously pumping air into the bladder so we didn't end up sinking. I was exhausted and my seasickness had understandably worsened. The other passengers told me it was okay to stop and rest, that they would take over for a while so I could sleep. I laid down and shut my eyes, letting the darkness creep in and allowing my body to rest. In my dream, I saw the faces of my raft companions. They were screaming from beneath the ocean currents. Their skin bleached white and decaying as the sway of the sea peeled the flesh from their faces. A sudden splash of ocean brine hit my face and pulled me from my sleep. I could see the sunrise, but I was alone. The waves were calm now. I scanned in all directions for my companions, but it was all in vain. They must have fallen out of the raft and drowned. If I hadn't fallen asleep they might still be alive. I guess this is survivor's guilt. I don't know what to call it, really. In the distance, I could make out the shape of the keys. I paddled with everything I had in me to reach them. By the time my raft finally touched the sand of the beach, it was already getting dark. I pulled the survival bags from the raft and got to work setting up a makeshift shelter, as well as a fire to keep warm. This is where I've been since then. I have no idea how many days it's been. I'm not sure if I can even remember my own name anymore. I'm almost out of food. I just hope help arrives soon. What do you think? Sounded like a pretty good alibi, didn't it? I know you can't speak through the gag, so just nod your head. This wasn't supposed to happen like this. I told my partner to wake me before he blew the safe. I just assume he got greedy. Idiot blew himself to smithereens in the process along with most of the goods. I barely had time to pack any of it before the ship started sinking. I have to hand it to him though. Sabotaging the other rafts was a nice touch. <sighs> just glad we didn't all pile into one of the damaged ones. That my friend was pure luck. 
I'm sorry about forcing the others off the raft, but they were digging in my bags when I woke up. They might have seen what I had stolen. I can't have that. So it's just us now. Thank you for helping me paddle. Again, I'm sorry about the gag, but I hate the sound of screaming. It might be a while before I'm rescued, and I'm out of food. Okay, so I still don't understand why you're arresting me. I'm talking! Oh.